guys, today we are going to finish up our graduation cap project. That means we're going to adhere this cap, or rather this cover, adhere this illustration to this cap. And the first thing I want to do is I want to find our alignment. So this says front of the cap. So this side is going to be up, and our alignment is going to be like this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere the cover to the cap and I want to use double stick tape for this. So we're going to move that over to the side, flip this over and we're going to apply a general or a, a generous, sorry, application of double stick tape. Now you could glue your illustration to the cap but I'm afraid that's going to cause warping. And the second thing I want to do after I finish taping this down is I am considering stapling it to the cap and then covering the staples with Posca so they blend in a little bit better. And that would ensure that the illustration itself doesn't just come off of the cap. So we've put a ring of tape around the center hole. I'm going to put double stick tape along all four edges and then some on the interior. We have our tape applied. Now I want to line it up carefully with the hat edges. And I'm going to use a blotter piece of paper to help me press all this down. And I'm just working my way to the outside edges. And you guys can see we have a little bit of a upper flipped up lip. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to staple it and then cover those staples. All right, so I have here my long arm stapler. It doesn't have to be a long arm stapler. I'm going to line it up. And you can see my staples are blue. So I'm going to go over this later with Posca just to kind of fix that, get it to match the colors of the hat. I'm just going to carefully work my way around the edges of the hat. All right, so now it's been secured down. We could if we wanted to with a little bit of careful finagling, open the hat and slip it inside and do some staples along the center. But I'm not going to worry about that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to cover up these staples and I'm also going to use Posca to kind of fill in this area here. Alright, so I've got my cover up colors selected. Let's start with the center and then we'll work on covering up the staples. So I ran over to my Jerry's and I got a replacement red Posca. We're gonna start with that once I get it primed. And working with my blotter sheet, I'm gonna try to carefully sketch it in. Now I wanted to avoid the button's going to make it hard. I wanted to avoid painting directly on the fabric, but I felt like this was just too noticeable for me to get away with not doing it. And the cheap fabric takes it okay, like it would be multiple coats. I would really recommend working on another surface like black poster board or construction paper or something rather than directly on this paint surface. It's not great. I'm also going to add 
some red to the button. We're going to have to do a few coats of this. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to start coloring over the staples. And we'll start with the black ones because those are the easy ones. And this is the fourth part in a three-part series. So stick around and you'll see how the hat actually looks at graduation. In our other three videos, we talked about uh, putting the sketch you want onto the black paper. We talked about rendering with Poscas. We talked about inking with Poscas. Gonna try to give it another coat of red. Yeah. So once you kind of prime it, it does take it a little bit better. I still am glad I didn't opt to do the entire thing. It might have looked a little bit better as a graduation cap, but it would have been much harder for me to work on, which was my big concern. It's also not the worst thing I think I've worked on. I think the pumpkins might have been a little bit more of a challenge. So, just going in with the gray. Twirls, how awesome! It's okay, I can kind of push it back, it's getting like more loose. Great, great. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to blend in better with the cap. Okay. And then while that dries, because I'm going to need to give that another coat, I'm going to start working on some of these other staples. And they're pretty easy to cover. I 
In some areas, I'm gonna go over them again and give them a second coat just so that like, it's not like this weird block of color. And I want to point out, I don't know that I mentioned it in those videos, but I should mention it. Anyway, I when I'm working on a long form project like this, I usually will time lapse things for you guys because it does take a really long time. I think I have spent all day for five different days working on this project. So if it takes you a little while, don't let that discourage you. Give yourself lots of time to work on something like this. That's the other reason we worked on an art substrate rather than directly on the hat itself. And by art substrate, I just mean um, we worked on a paper that we later attached because, oh, why am I grabbing orange? Because if you make a mistake on the paper, you can just throw it away and start again. And yeah, that's time that you probably wish you had back but at least you didn't ruin your hat. Whereas if you work directly on the hat, if you ruin it, then you gotta figure something else out. If I had more time, I kinda think I would wanna go back in and do a second layer on everything after I sealed it. It got kind of um, just less saturated, less intense. And you see how much darker it would be? It, that is because the fabric of the hat is absorbing all of our paint, which I figured would be what would happen. See, I'm pressing it down and it's kind of diffusing into it. So I really need to give it a lot of time to dry which is kind of a shame because it's raining outside today so it's going to take a really 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 long time to dry but that also explain why we're not really getting any kind of crisp edges there all right so it's had a little bit of time to dry but not a whole lot let's see if we can get at least a layer of our orange on here and while it's not as bright as the original, at least it blends in better than like having a black button in the middle of our illustration. I do wish I could get cleaner, better looking delineation though. That's something I'm a little bit disappointed in. So everything else looks fine. I'm just kind of meh about that button. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to actually set it aside for several hours, give it time to fully dry because today is really wet and gross outside and then come back to it later on. So it's been several hours since I last worked on this. So fingers crossed that it's actually had a chance to fully dry. Oh, look y'all, it works so much better now. Yee. All right, so just doing it directly on the cap is gonna take you a lot longer because of extended dry times. Makes sense, cellulose paper dries faster than cotton rag paper. Makes sense that not that this is cotton, but whatever this Wonder Blend is, would take a little bit longer than cellulose because it holds onto the moisture more. So at least that's heartening. That means that first layer was not for naught. Mm -hmm. 
And see, with this layer, now that this one's still wet, you can see how it dissipates into the fabric. So before I go and I fix our red and orange flames, I'm going to have to let that dry again. And I'm definitely having trouble getting into some of those smaller areas. But that's okay. Pretty sure this is not what Poscas were designed to do. Okay, so I'm trying to decide if I want to do two layers of red or a layer of red, let it dry, and then a layer of orange. So I guess we're going to do a layer of red. What do you guys think? It definitely still stands out and, I don't know, not necessarily in a good way. And this fabric is 100% not my first choice to paint on. It's pretty terrible. It definitely gives you feedback. Let's try to get a little tighter on the clouds. I imagine if your grad cap got rained on, it would just hold, I mean, cause there's like foam and then there's like a chipboard underneath. I imagine it would just stay wet forever. This is Devin's graduation from Nichols. Devin, what are you graduating with? A uh, bachelor's in petroleum services. In petroleum services. And what do you want to do after this? I want to become a professional firefighter. Professional firefighter. Are you going to Disney? What? I don't know. It's like what they ask Super Bowl <laughs> players. Like, what do you do now? I'm going to Disney. But I guess, I guess not. All right. We'll wave for the camera and then I'm going to turn it off. So Devin should be grateful to Joseph because the original design, the tassel was coming out of the crotch of the Gundam by accident. And Joseph's like, you really want to put it there? And I was like, whoops. someone double check your work. There he goes. With my shaky hands. His new life as a graduate. Congratulations, Devin, on your graduation. Open it up, Gavin. Show what's inside. Oh, very nice. Full of social media. Here. All right. I want to lean your head. No, 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 no. Lean your head back. Yeah. Thank you. Why are you making that face? Smile. Congratulations. No.